Hello everyone, this is Akpa here, also known as Mike, and welcome to the final episode in this Everhead series. Uh, last time, I beat the game, and I actually did already record this episode. Problem is, I was fighting Cat God for so long that it actually, for, for some reason, all the UI on all my programs crashed, and I was able to keep the video recording, but the audio recording was unrecoverable, and unfortunately... I, I just didn't feel like using that, and uh, I just, I'm just going to redo it, re-record it, go through the game again, do the stuff again. And uh, I've also been a little busy. I've kind of done most of the no-hits in the game, actually, i kind of done all of them, except for Incinerator. But, you know, it's fine, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Psst, hey, I, I know who you are. I know you've played this scenario all before. You strike me as the kind of guy that lives through challenges and maybe searching for something new and exciting? Let me introduce myself. My name is Sam. I have a proposal. I could use someone with your talents. You see, I've come across some information about a somewhat hidden treasure. Yeah, exciting, right? I found a location. But there's a problem. It is being guarded by a really big guy. I usually deal with this kind of stuff myself, but I fear the odds are against me. My suggestion is that we split the treasure half and half. If you help me. Do you want to go on a treasure hunt? Sure. How exciting, I'll summon the door. Now I'll just ditch that dude. Whatever, he's dumb. I gotta get the key from Brown Mage first, so I'll just do that quickly. There we go. Here's the golden key. And now, I will head back to the mushroom forest and get the sapphire. So, like I said, unfortunately, I lost um, a bunch of recording. It was like six hours of battling super bosses. But, yeah, just, just letting you know, I've already seen these fights. I've already done them. In fact, I've already no hit them. Um, <laughs> but, I'm just doing again, them again for video's sake. Just, yeah, why not? I don't want to leave the thing on a cliffhanger just because um, stuff failed to record and stuff like that. So back in the first area of Mushroom Forest, there is a certain door. I'll go open that door. There we go. Now we run into some uh, sentient ropes. <laughs> Do you accept the challenge? Sure.
I really just got hit once at the very end. <laughs> okay. But yeah. There we go. That's Jump Rope Challenge. <laughs> Along with some gnomes. Can you go in here? Can you find a, uh... Spooky gem? And that's how you get the Ucker Marine, and, uh, yeah. Really interesting. I suppose now it's time to show off a, uh... A certain super boss. <laughs> There it is. A three-eyed cat statue. A faded description under the statue says, Bring me my eyes, and I will allow you to meet your maker. Insert the emerald, the ruby, and the aquamarine. Oh boy. Now, remember, I've already fought them. I've already beat them in expert mode. I've already actually no-hit them. But, I'll do it again, because why not? Recording failure happens, so let's go. Yeah, I love the song. Ah, I had to itch my nose, I did that by accident. Um, forgive my brain deadery. Holy shit. Ah, it's all because my nose. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Oh my, I'm making a bunch of dumb mistakes. It's been forever since I last played.
And... Nope. Sorry. There we go. <laughs> that was five loops. Okay. But yeah. That's Dev Gnomes. Dead. Rest in peace. <laughs> and now, let's go into a cat god. <laughs> it might be good to mention that there's no shame in turn-down difficulty. In this part of the realm, well, things might get... intense. Race. Alright, this is the place I was talking about. I know the beast is lurking there. Go and defeat it. So we can get the treasure! Alright. Who treads on these grounds? How did the human find itself here? Nevertheless, your eyes have seen too much. Something I must mention, this fight, when I first tried it, it broke me so much that I just killed him on story mode because I was so pissed. But, I know now, I, I just tried it yesterday, but I actually did manage to survive the fight on expert mode, so that was cool. Damn it! I was right at the end, if I didn't get a... Uh, if I didn't play stupid earlier, I would have gotten that. <sighs> that sucks. There we go. There we go, Cat God Expert Survival. 
<sighs> I'm glad I can do that, like, pretty fast now. Man, I used to suck so much at the end of the fight. But I finally got it. You've proven yourself worthy. I would allow you to pass. May your quest give you peace. Ah. <sighs> You actually managed to beat the beast? Great job! Oh, I'll go open the door. I've unlocked the door. Come on, hurry! This must be the treasure. After all these years, I can finally find out! It's just a dusty old TV. Wait, it's connected to something. It's... Just a smega station. It. It's. Super Racket 2! No way. I didn't know that existed. I challenge you, Red. Let's see which one of us is the best racket fighter. Let's go. Smega. Right, let's go first try. No, I'm gonna lose. Watch it. God damn it. Ah. Go. That was okay, not a huge improvement, but okay. I'm bored. Let's go do something else. What's in the cabin? Huh, it's locked? Not a problem for the cat. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't want anything to do with this. See you around, Dully! Hmm. Open the cabin? Sure. What you see is beyond words. You see some sort of imagery in an intricate college. Collage. Shit. Somehow it feels personal, but at the same time distant. And students begin to understand how the visuals move, they change. The longer you look, the more it intensifies exponentially. You see different beings, people you've met, and strange things. Is it trying to tell you something? What does it want? It all collapses into massive fractals and keeps folding and folding. Is it trying to tell you something? What does it want? There's a hypnotic look to it all. It fills you with warmth and enjoyment. You can almost stare at it forever. As soon as you think you understand it, it throws in something totally new. Something for the better, sometimes for the worse. You'll always find something new here. Uh, that's a very trippy cabin, don't worry about it. Now, let's go into this not at all suspicious room that he ditched us with. Uh oh. Incinerator in progress! Yeah, we're dead. Uh.
I think I still have my reaction somewhere of it. Might put it in. <laughs> what? I I don't I don't like this. You know, pretty easy. Not too bad, right? No, yeah, there's no way you can survive this, by the way. If you couldn't tell, there's no way. body must have broken. Again. <laughs> no! Stop controlling me. No. You... You, you killed them. You killed them and left me here. Why? No! I won't let you continue to kill. I'll just stay here, alone. Making sure you won't hurt anyone else. Yeah, quite a uh, sad ending. <laughs> um. In the original recording, I was just bitching about Cat God the whole time in the credits, but I'd rather not have that as a final thing. Um, overall, a great game. I recommend it to anyone. Um, honestly, an outstanding experience. Um, Cat God, only part I really had trouble with was the end, and eventually I just realized that I was looking at it wrong. It's not too bad. Only things really holding this game back from being, like, absolute perfect is just... The health on like light being and cat god, it's it's way too high to be reasonable to kill in time for most people. Like all other expert bosses are just within reason, you know, their health is within reason. And then you find light being and cat god, and it's just play perfect. Might as well not get hit because if you get hit, you lose your charge, right? Um, other thing is some note achievements, they're kind of bugged right now, so you have to sit through a minute for, like, two fights because of the way the fight is set up. Um, anyways. Yes. Great game. Recommend it to anyone. I don't care if you've seen me play through the whole thing now. Go buy it, if you haven't, and play through it. It's just an amazing experience, and great to just get over these challenges. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this entire Everhood series, and, um, yeah. Take care. Bye-bye. Have a good day.